What's going on guys? It's Danny here and I'm gonna play No, wait, I'm not gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna show you, aka walk you through the the new patch, you know. We have a new patch 6.79 and I'm gonna show you the update notes. So we will get started with the gameplay update. Um, I don't want this video to be very long. So I will skip this right here, what I have in blue because who the fuck cares about experience? You can read it if you want. I will post a link um, in the description when you can just click and go into this page to see um, the changes that I'm reading right now. Right now, uh, not night. So now it's morning. Um, I am gonna be reading them. I already said that, but it's for me the first time I'm reading this. I was reading just a little bit just to see what can I skip to make it faster and go faster to the heroes. Uh, let's not waste any more time because I'm already talking bullshit for the first minute. And buyback prevents... wait. Buyback prevents gaining unreliable gold uh, until your normal respawn time finishes. Alrighty. That's, that's not good, I think. When buying back 20% of the remaining respawn time will be added to your next death but but why so but why i don't i don't know why but this is not good <laughs> creeps now meet a bit closer to the tower in your off lane um okay Range heroes now got the same denied experience as melee heroes instead of less. Well, that's good. That's nice. Experience AoE increased from this to this. 1300. Well, I guess that's good. That's better for the offlaners because now they will have um, a little bit 100 more range to get some experience. I like offlaning, so this is good for me, but it may suck for you. <laughs> okay, non-ancient, non-ancients, neutrals, now split experience with all heroes in AoE instead of just the team that killed them. Alright. Swap the medium pullable neutral camp with the small camp. What do you mean? Swap the medium pullable neutral camp with the small camp. So, when I play support now, and I can pull camp, I will be pulling small camp instead of medium camp. If that's what it means, this is really fucked. I'm not sure, but if it, if it means that, it's really fucking fucked. Okay, a neutral creep camp will no longer spawn the same um, set of neutral creeps twice in a row. Well, that's very nice. That's very nice if you are jungling Doombringer and you have something shit in the first spawn and then you get the same. But for the rest of the heroes, I guess it's gonna be not good because uh, you can get uh, the trolls now faster and that's a little bit harder to stack ah fuck that whatever um, all this I'm gonna skip it because I don't even care about experience um, HP reduced okay the 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 hell bear uh, HP is reduced a little bit so now now it dies a little bit faster which is nice and his armor is also reduced that's very nice when you when you are a farmer and you clear it like when I get uh, pretty fast battle fury and anti mage and I go jungling. So this is very nice because the bears were OP before. Um sat how do you even read this? Set here. Whatever. Uh purge cast why I don't care about that. Okay. Dragon Ancient Neutral Camp now have flying like, movement capability. Kappa. <laughs> Why do you Kappa now? Now neutral camps can Kappa, you know, the Dragon Ancients. But whatever. Uh, fixed neutrals and venomed weapons debuff dispelling region items. 
Um, this is very good because it was really fucked before. Very nice. Um, day, night, day and night. Da -na 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 -na, day and night. <laughs> uh, day and night. Length decreased from 6 to 4 minutes. Why do you have to make these changes? Now it's like playing another game. It's really like playing another game. The following heroes now have the standard 800 night vision. Draw Ranger, Mirana, Pak, Lishrak, Enchantress, AA, Meepo and Tree and Protector. Um, I guess Mirana had more than that before. So some heroes have less than before. Why do you make that? Okay, anyway. Uh, Roshan will respawn at a random time between 8 and 11 minutes after death. Alright, so now the when you type in the chat the Roshan timing, it's gonna be approximately whatever you type, you know, and not the exact time. When Aegis expires unused, it heals the hero fully over 5 seconds. Regen dispels on damage from players or buildings. This is very nice actually. When I have the Aegis, when someone else doesn't, it's fucked. <laughs> when someone else has it, it's fucked. Okay, starting gold increased from 603. Oh! Nice! <laughs> Random gold bonus reduced by 50. Ah. Oh. So now, if you random a hero, you get you get 50 gold less, and if you swap on top of that, it's like you didn't random. If you random, it's for the bonus gold. And now if you fucking swap with somebody... Jesus! Gold for ending a spree uh, changed from 75 to 600. Um, how do you, how do you make this math? I don't, I, I have no idea about math. So, the phone is ringing, I can hear it, but I don't care, I'm reading patch notes, Jesus. Uh, your gold income is now 1 per 0 0.0 seconds, up from 1 per 0 0.8 seconds. This is nice, because now we get just a little bit gold, so... Every 5 seconds we will get 1 gold more than before, I think. We are gonna end up getting more gold. Um, tower last hit bonus gold increased from 100 to 200. To 150, 250. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. Melee barracks HP region increased from 2.5 to 5. This is very good. Um, range barracks... HP region decreased from 2.5 to 0. Okay. Range barracks, fuck you now. Range barrack range barracks HP reduced from 1500 to 1200 and armor increased from 5 to 10. Same EHP versus physical damage. Huh. Okay, evasion now stacks demi what the fu diminishingly 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 forget about that my English is the the best uh can no longer orb attack while attack restricted such as ethereal or frostbite you mean do you mean that now when Huskar buys Ghost Scepter, use it, and then he cannot um, and he cannot attack or attack anymore with the the spears. If it means that, good job, man. Good job. <laughs> the following abilities no longer automatically ignore backswing time by default. Rapture. 
Venom. Okay, whatever. Let's go to the heroes. Finally, Abaddon. Base armor reduced by one. Okay, I guess that's fine. Uh, Mist coil. Self damage increased. All right, this is pretty good because Abaddon can damage himself now a little bit more, like 25 more. Each level you you have the skill, very nice. A photic sh a, a photic shield is now dispellable. Huh? You can purge it now. You can be purge gamer now. Okay, nice. Uh, borrowed borrowed time no longer activates while doomed alright I guess borrowed is the the ulti not really sure but I don't even know the skills what the fuck okay alchemist um, chemical rage no longer provides bonus HP but why no longer bonus HP on alchemist now it now it's uh now we only have the uh the HP region and the HP the, the mana region. What the fuck? Chemical rage HP region increased. Oh, oh, wait, wait. First read and then comment. Then comment. <laughs> okay. Now it's we have insane amount of region. So this is very nice, I guess. The the region is nice, but well, I guess now heart is going to be uh, much better option for Alchemist, Heart of Tarask. Okay, Ancient Apparition, Ice Vortex, cooldown reduced from 5 to 4. Um, okay, Ice Blast, cooldown reduced from 45 to 40. This is even better. The Chilling Touch buff is now always applied to Ancient Apparition, even if he's not within the target area very cool chilling touch cooldown reduced very cool <laughs> for me everything is cool guys um, axe berserker skull AOE increased 275 to 300 alright battle hunger um, duration reduced this is very nice because like you you get you get very fast level 7 in the jungle and you start going um roam a little bit around um and you just battle hunger um a support which is when you are level 7 very fast the support is still like a level 5 you fucking kill him with one battle hunger duration <laughs> Okay, so now the duration is uh, reduced a little bit and the damage is also reduced. Jesus, I'm gonna repeat. Danny, please first read and then comment. Okay. Uh, the damage is also reduced, which is very nice. Uh, this is a nerf to Battle Hunger. Battle Hunger movement speed slow bonus increased from 8% to 10%. Okay, I guess that's fine. Just 2% more, which is almost nothing. Battle Hunger is now dispellable. Alright. Abaddon shield. I guess, or maybe purge, or maybe whatever you have to dispel. Uh, counter helix cooldown reduced from 0.055. This was changed in the last patch. It was from from 0.75 to this, I think. And now it's uh, reduced. On level 4 it's going to be 0.3. So this is very nice, I guess. Counter Helic now hits Siege Units. Oh! <laughs> clapping for you, Valve. Clapping for you. <laughs> I like playing Axe, so this is good. Um, Culling Blade no longer goes on cooldown if it successfully kills a hero. Um, is this the OT of Axe? I think it is. So, no longer cooldown if it kills a hero. Okay. Um, threshold reduced from 300 so agonims to 250. Oh, well. 
Oh well, guys. Oh well. On level 3, 450. But why you make that? Why? It was so good before. Like, level 16, 625. And you just kill him. Like, when you get very fast level 16. And the support is still, like, level 10. You just hit him once. And then you ulti. And he's dead. But now he's not because 450. Aghanim upgrade um, version is still... Oh, 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 my bad. Jesus, this is the, the time number three, the third time. I'm gonna say, Danny, first read and then think about it and then comment. Okay, now when we get Aghanims, it's still gonna be the same. I like Aghanims on Axe, so everything is good. Cunning Blade uh, speed bonus increased from 25 to 40%. And AoE from 600 to 900. Whoa, that's very nice. Um, Culling Blade 40% speed bonus now applies to attack speed as well. Oh! <laughs> very nice changes on Axe. Culling Blade Aghanim a light buff duration increased from 6 to 10. Okay. Um, Culling Blade mana cost reduced from 150 to 60. Nice! Nice! Okay, Batrider. Base damage reduced from 48 to 52. But why Why do you make this hero look like Tekis? Or Sniper? Or Shadow Fiend without souls in level 1? Why, Batrider? What is the problem? Vision reduced from um, 14 to 1200. Alrighty. Flaming lasso cost range. Cast range, not cost. What the fuck am I doing? Cast range uh, reduced from 175 to 100. Okay, so now I have to blink right on top of the target that I want to lasso, right? Because otherwise it's not gonna work. Um, Beastmaster. Um, Inner Beast AoE reduced from 1000 to 900. Stardant AoE, Standard Aura AoE. AoE. Very nice, I guess. Um, Inner Beast attack. Th that's like a, like a fix, right? Or it's reduced. Well, whatever. Beast Master, who cares? I don't. Um, Inner Beast attack speed rescaled from 80 to 50, 25, 35, 45. Nice. Cow of the Wild now has two abilities for summoning each unit independently. Indepen independently. This is very nice actually because if you want the pig, you summon the pig. If you want the bird to scout the rune or something, you can summon just the the, um, the bird. The bird. Bird is nice. Ice is nice. Okay. Uh, Call of the Wild. Mana cost reduced from 25 to 15. And cast point improved from 0 0.5 to 0 0.3. Very good. Okay. Uh, Bloodseeker. Base movement speed reduced from 3.5 3 to 300. Base movement speed reduced. All right. But I guess when you get your third skill to uh, some decent level, that's no problem. Okay, third thirst, thirst is now global instead of s 6,000 range. Thirst. I'm not sure what is thirst. I, I think it's the third skill. Um, Dota 2, Blood Seeker. What the fuck? Okay, third is thirst is the third skill of, Bl of Blood Seeker. Okay, so Blood Seeker now third skill is global. Very nice. Uh, third bonus now stacks for each unit that is low HP. Each unit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you get more movement speed from each unit, not only one hero. It's not even hero, it's unit. That means from creeps as well? 
What the fuck do you mean? Okay, uh, thirst HP threshold increased. Oh, okay, so they reduce the movement speed. And the threshold is from this to to fifty to fifty percent even at level one. Oh very nice. Um when thirst is active movement speed is cap uh, movement speed cap is removed on your hero. No movement speed cap. You can move more than five twenty two. Oh <laughs> Okay, Thirst no longer provides armor bonus. But why? Blue Seeker is... Blue Seeker is squishy like Mario. Okay, Thirst provides bonus 7, 14, 21, 20 age damage. Oh, very nice. Uh, Thirst no longer grants full hero vision around HP targets. Um, it only shows their model. Fuck you, piece of shit. Okay, thirst no longer lasts for an extra three seconds when the target is dead. Okay, show me more. Okay, you will show me more later. Uh, brew master, brew master, brew master. Uh, base agility increased from 16 to 22. Why do you even need agility? It's like armor and attack speed, but not really HP. The hero is strength, right? Um, Drunken Haze affects 200 AoE around the target. Alright. Uh, Thunderclap is now dispellable. But why you make Abaddon OP again? Primal Split Selection Order is now Earth Storm Fire. Reworked Primal Split Aghanim's Upgrade. No longer upgrades any stats cooldown duration on agonims. Instead it now grants thunderclap on earth, drunken haste to storm and drunken brower to fire. The skill grant the skills granted are the same level as brewmaster skills. Cooldowns are independent of the original brewmaster. This is fucking OP. This is this is not this is not good. Um, brew, uh, Bristol back, Bristol back, attack point improved from 0 0.4 to 0 0.3, attack animation I guess, which is very nice, uh, viscous, what, how do you even read this, viscous nas nasal go, something like that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my English is not good, it's now dispellable, Okay, this is the um, this is the slow, I guess, and also cast point improved, very nice, and war path max stack increased from five to five six seven. This is very nice, and war war path stack duration increased from ten to fourteen. Oh, okay, brute mother. Brute Mother is very nice hero. I like Brute Mother so much. Okay, uh, spin web AOE increased from 650 to 900. Opa! Spin web cast range increased from 600 to 1000. Spin web cast range. Oh, nice. Spin web cast point nerfed from 0.2 to 0.4. But why you have to be like this? Okay, spin web no longer destroys trees. What the fuck? Why not? Why not? Brute mother now has completely um, un unobstructed movement. Unno unobstructed movement when under the web. Can walk over cliffs, trees, etc. Oh! Very nice. This is like Spectre and having the. Uh, <laughs> uh, why am I like oh and clapping sometimes? I don't know. Uh, whatever. 
Um, Bro Brute Mother now can can be like Superman. <laughs> I mean, uh, not Superman. Yeah, Superman because he can fly over that. Um, um, I need to relax a little bit. Removed buffer time when leaving spin web. You now immediately lose your region movement pathing in these bonuses. Okay, so before when you go out of the web, you still have your movement speed and HP region for like two seconds, I believe, maybe one and a half or two and a half, something like that between that. So now you immediately lose your in this. Why you have to be like this? Okay, Centaur Warrunner, um, Steampate, Stampate, Stampate. Slow duration increased from 125 seconds to 1 1.5. This is like, this is like nothing. Chaos Knight, um, Chaos Bow damage and stun value is now um, inversely related. Wait, what? Chaos Boy damage and stun value is now inversely related. I guess that's cool, right? <laughs> I didn't understand shit, but whatever. I will use the translator later. <laughs> uh, test Chen. Test of the Faith teleport is now dispellable. Oh! Hand of God cooldown increased from this to this. It only affects level 1 and 2. On level 3, it's the same. Alright. Clinks. Clinks! I just uploaded a video with Clinks yesterday. Why you have to change Clinks now? <laughs> okay, Searing Arrows damage increased from 20 to 30, 40, 50, and 60. Oh! Searing Arrows mana cost increased. I fucking hate you. Um, Searing Arrows is no longer blocked by magic immunity. Oh! <laughs> Very nice. Clockwork units uh, knocked back by power cogs destroy trees in 100 AoE around uh, where they land. Alright, I guess that's cool. Uh, freezing Crystal Maiden. Crystal Maiden. Ice is not always nice. Meh. Uh, freezing field at Attack speed and movement speed AOE slow increased from minus 20 to... Well, it's the same for level 2. Wait, what the fuck do you mean? Freezing field. What? What is the freezing field? Crystal Maiden free... No, just Crystal Maiden. Uh, Freezing field. Oh, it's the it's the 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 ultimate. Alrighty, um, attack speed and movement speed. Okay, freezing field scepter attacks. Okay, very nice. Uh, scepter is increased. Uh, Dark seer vacuum cooldown increased from 24 to 28. Oh, why you have to be like this? Okay, Dazzo. Wave duration. Wave. What wave? Wave duration rescaled from 12, 18, 24 to 20. Alrighty. Wave armor per second. Oh, this is the ultimate. Fuck my life. I don't even know the skills. Um, wave armor per second rescaled from 1 to 0 0.75, 1 and 125. Scepter is 1. Oh. You have scepter for this hero? Wait. I didn't know. What? Poison touch damage increased. Oh, very nice. Poison touch is now dodgeable. What? Poison touch. It's the only poison that Dazzle has, right? How is it dodgeable now? Now it works like Venomancer Gale or something, you know, guys? Poison Touch Slow timing is reworked. I'm not gonna read this shit, but 
basically we have on level one um, longer instead of one second it's gonna be three seconds um, the slow and then it goes back to two and then one and one like before on level one we have longer slow this is the the conclusion of all this I hope I hope I don't fucked up and death prophet exorcism spirit damage increased from what the fuck this is nice disruptor kinetic or kinetic field AOE increased from 300 to 325 this is nice glimpse cooldown reduced but why you reduce the cooldown it was so good okay it's only 10 seconds wait 10 seconds is a lot actually static storm AOE increased from 375 to 450 but why you make this raptor more powerful than it it's it's already uh, static storm max damage increased but fuck this shit man added agonims upgrade static storm silences items and lasts extra two seconds oh items silences items very nice now you cannot bkb out of it it's like doom it's like doom's ot so disruptor ot when you buy the agonims it's like doom ot nice uh doom cooldown reduced but why you have to reduce the what the fuck doom now removes positive buffs on the target before applying the debuff wait what doom now removes positive buffs on the target before applying the debuff this is cool uh, doom agonim aoe requirement increased from 550 to 900 oh finally jesus this is very good this is the AoE that is considered when freezing the duration of Aghanim upgraded Doom. I know that! And it's very good, very, very good. Precision Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger. Wait, I have to I have to say the names of the heroes. Draw Ranger. Precision Aura Damage Ratio increased from 16, 20, 24, 28% to this. Wait, what is the Precision Aura? It's the, the third skill, right? No longer affects creeps. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Precision aura no longer affects creeps. Fucking nice. Wait, I have to make sure what is the precision aura. <laughs> uh. Okay, exactly, exactly. It's the, the third skill of Draw Ranger. Precision Aura can now be manually casted to affect creeps globally for 30 seconds. Two minutes cooldown. Yes! Yes! This is very nice. Markmanship attribute. Um, negation. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, AoE increased. Well, this is good, I guess, when you play against Draw Ranger, but when you play Draw... When you're the one playing Draw Ranger, this fucking sucks. Earthshaker, um, Enchant Totem, damage increased from 75, 150 to 400% on level 4. Wow, I'm gonna buy Daedalus on this hero and rape everybody fissure range increased by 100 oh nice <laughs> elder titan ancestral spirit damage reduced hallelujah hallelujah nice thank you valve thank you ice frog thank you everybody for making this um, enigma midnight pulse dps increased increased who the fuck cares? I don't even play Enigma. Um, Aghanim Scepter upgrade for Enigma. Oh! Uh, midnight Pulse damage to your black hole. This damage stacks with Midnight Pulse. Oh! I'm gonna start playing Enigma now and buy Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> okay, Enchantress. Um, 
Untouchable attack speed slow increased from 20, 50, 80, 110 to 30, 60, 90 and 120. I guess that's cool. That's a cool. Why am I why am I like fucking um Okay. Uh faceless void. Time walk slow rescaled from 25, 30, 35, 40. Time walk slow. Now it's a little bit more, which is very nice. On the level 4. But th the rest of the levels on level 3 and 4 it's a little bit more. Oh, it make Oh, it rhymes again. I always make these rhymes. On level 3 and 4, it's a little bit more. And then what? You're a whore. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Okay, Chronosphere AoE increased from 400 to 450. I guess that's cool, right? Husker agility reduced from 20 plus 2.4 to 15 plus 1.4 agility reduced this is nice because now he has less armor right berserker's blood is now dispelled by doom all right invoker yo invoker fuck spells <laughs> what the hell magina seriously Magic sucks. You suck. No. Uh, EMP restores Invoker for 50% of the mana it drains from heroes. What do you mean? Why? 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 Invoker max spells rescaled from 1, 2, two. Are you fucking serious? You, you make yoke with this? Fucking wizard. Why you have to be like this? Jesus! I.O. A.K.A. Wisp. A.K.A. Guardian Wisp. Tether now does um, 100 movement speed, attack speed slow instead of a stun. This is this is not good. This is oh, I think it's good. Wait. It's really good actually. But how long is gonna be the, the slow? The same like the stun? The same duration? Then it's shit! Completely shit! Okay, Jakiro. Liquid Fire is now a castable attack orb. Same cooldown, no mana cost. Oh, Nice! Juggernaut healing ward movement speed increased. Whoa! From 300? to 450 good luck good luck killing that healing ward when you are a melee hero jesus christ omni slash scepter cooldown reduced 70 seconds oh <laughs> omni slash no longer stops if the enemy oh no no enemy there omni slash no longer stops if the target is ethereal it still doesn't do damage what what's the st what what the fuck okay whatever fixed fixed now uh fixed not being able to use items during omni slash um i guess manta style and also you cannot bash if you buy basher and you use omni slash Hmm, have to see about Basher, but it says use items, and using items means Abyssal Blade, Manta Style, you guys know. Jesus, excuse me for that, sorry. You guys know what that means. Um, Keeper of the Light, Koto, give mana, please, you fucking noob idiot. Okay, uh, Blending Light now destroys trees in a 150 AoE around. Nice. Um, Kunka. Kunka, I support support your Wayne. <laughs> X mark the spot cooldown reduced from 16 to 13. This is very nice. Ghost ship damage increased from 350. Oh, this is very nice. 50 more damage for ghost ship damage. How does it even make sense what I said? But whatever. Uh, Leshrak. 
diabolic edict cast point improved from this is very good this is very nice um, pulls nova scepter damage increased nice very nice um, lich lich what no changes about lich in the last patch i think and now we have one uh, it's not one it's a lot uh, frost armor has um, half effect against the range heroes Okay, I guess that's fine, and that's kind of a fix, or not a fix, but this is a cool change, I guess, uh, if you play range hero against Lich. Frost armor slow now stacks with the slow from Frost Nova. Oh, this is nice. Sacrifice cooldown increased from 35 level 1 and 20 level 4. Well, it's increased only on level 1, because now it was, it was insane when you go on the offlane and you start... Um, denying creeps, you can deny one, basically one creeps from every single wave of w wave, you know. And now it's gonna be a little bit less, like one per two waves. Huh. Okay. Sacrifice mana gain increased 70% at level four and 25 at level one. This is very nice. Sacrifice no longer denies enemy experience. <laughs> Alrighty. This is this is cool, I guess. Sacrifice now converts your own creep for experience shared in AOE as normal creep experience bounty. Wait, sacrifice now converts your own creep for experience. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, life stealer uh, rage cooldown increased from 17 to 19. Open wounds and infest cast point increased from 0 0.01 to 0 0.2. Oh, but why you have to make this? Lina, a tank range increased to 650 from 635 to 650. Oh, I guess that's cool. Lion, mana drain duration increased from 4 to 5. But why? It was very good before. Okay. Hex cooldown increased from 15 to 30. Hex cooldown increased. Well, at level 1 it's going to be a lot more cooldown. I guess this is fact, right? Uh, hex duration increased from 1.75 to 2.5 or whatever. Okay. Lone Druid. Base movement speed increased from two, 315 to 325, still 280 in true form. This is actually very nice when you play in the beginning until you don't have the, the true form. Even in, if in the true form you are slower but you have more HPs. Yeah. Spirit Bear experience bounty increased from uh, 196 to 300, very nice. The same amount of gold, it's gonna give you the same amount of experience. Luna, Nova, Kappa, Dota. <laughs> okay, Moon Glaive can now bounce back on the same units if it's already hit all other units nearby. Moon Glaive can now bounce on the same units if it's already hit all other units nearby. Alrighty. Moon Glaive bounce damage reduced from 30% to 35%. Oh, but why? Eclipse Scepter Beam. Eclipse Scepter Beam. Count limit per target removed. Huh. Lycan. Oh, Lycan. Nice. Armor increased by one. Shapeshift Alter armor is still the same as before. Base damage increased by five. Very nice. Um, Howl bonus damage for non-hero units increased as well. It's like one more damage on level one. What the fuck? And then two more on level two. What the fuck? Okay. Wolf's magic resistance increased from 50% to 80%. This is very nice. Uh, Magnus, turn rate improved from 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. The fuck, I need to drink a little bit of water, I'm sorry.
Mystic Snake now does pure damage to units in stone form. Um, this is very nice. Meepo! Meepo the Geomancer, aka Kipo. Um, aka Kappa. <laughs> Base armor reduced by 1. I guess that's fine, right? Uh, turn rate improved. Okay. Why are you nerfing Meepo? Like, Meepo is the... like... The, Jesus. Um, Earthbind cast point improvement from 0 0.5 to 0 0.3. Okay, that's good. Divine... Divi Jesus, not divine. Divided. We stand. Leveling. Um, rebalanced from 6, 11, 16 to 4... 11, 18. All right. Remove 30% um, stat sharing on non agonim divided we stand. Alrighty. Wait. What the fuck did I just read here? You get. You get. Oh, <laughs> oh, very nice! You get a second Meepo on level four instead of level six, and then you get another Meepo on level eleven, which is the same like before. And after that, you get eighteen, level eighteen in instead of sixteen. But you get your first, your second Meepo on level four instead of level six. Oh. I'm gonna start playing Meepo now. Nice. I have to learn ma Maiko skills. But I will learn that. Uh, Mirana. Leap AoE. Attack speed, movement speed, speed. Bonus is granted at the cast um, location rather than the destination. Fuck my English. I didn't even understand what I just read. But I am too... I'm too fucking... Jesus, I cannot believe. You can get four second Meepo on level 4. Nice! Uh, leap AoE, attack speed bonus increased from 4, 8, 12, 16 to this shit, whatever. Morphling, morph level 4, shift rate improved from 0 0.25 to 0 0.2. But why you have to nerf Morphling? Morphling is shit, nobody's playing it now. And I still don't have a video with it, and I would like to make, but you nerf the hero. Jesus, why you have to do this, Ice Frog? Ah, Naga Siren, uh, Riptide AoE reduced from 450 to 350. Alrighty. And Snare Mana Cost increased from 75 level 1 to 90 at level 1. Huh. And then on level 4... It's uh, 120. Well, I guess that's fine. Um, nature's Prophet. We have Nature's Prophet. Treant's um, experience bonus bounty. Um, Treant's experience bounty increased from 20 to 30. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? 10 more experience. Oh, wait. You're gonna level up 5 levels. Ah, don't scare me with that, man. Okay. Uh, Trian's gold bounty increased from 12 to 16 to 14 to 20. Okay, you're gonna get 4 gold more. Uh, Necrolite. Base armor increased by 1. I guess that's fine, right? Nyx Assassin, aka Nerubian Assassin. Spiked Carapace no longer stuns your hero when your summoned units proc it. This is very good. The summoned unit gets stunned instead. This is awesome! Impale no longer has unit targeting. It is now only a point targeted spell. Impale is the, st is the stun, right? Oh, Impale is the stun of Nerubian Assassin. <laughs> now you cannot stun that easily, but you can get more targets now. Well, I was stunning the ground even before when, when you could target a hero. So you can make it a little bit harder and stun many targets at the same time. Targets. 
Um, orange ogre. I was gonna say orange magi. Orange magi. Jesus. Um, ogre magi. Ignite duration increased from four, five, six, seven to five, six, seven, eight. All right. Let me see if I'm still recording. Okay, I am. Why am I? Why? Why do I even have to look? I didn't stop, so I am still. Um, ignite is now dodgeable. What the fuck do you mean with these dodgeable things? Ignite can now multicast to cast a random enemy unit in 1400 AOE. Oh, very nice! Unfriend. Un un unrefined. Unrefined. Fire Blast cooldown reduced from 10 to 6. Unrefined Fire Blast. I guess that's the... Um, the scepter upgrade, the the addition of fire blast you get, right? Or maybe it's the just the normal fire blast. Yeah, it is. It is the, um, it's the um, the scepter fire blast that you get. Well, I guess that's good. That's uh, definitely a buff to the scepter. Uh, Omni Knight. Digen Aura AOE increased from 315 to 350. This is the slow, which is very very nice. Um, Digen Aura's thickness in increased from 0 0.5 to one second. What the fuck? Fucking Omni Knight carry. <laughs> okay, OD Outworld Devour. Base damage reduced by three. Good fucking job. Incre items no longer trigger Essence Aura. You mean only OD items or every hero items? I guess it's every hero because... Well, this is really fucked. I guess because when you use mech, you have the chance to get your mana back. Well, this is fucked. Uh, Phantom Assassin. Dagger um, shares the same crit chance factor as Cope of Cope the Grace. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Please tell me this is the. Oh, Dagger can get a crit now. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck? Dagger is now dodgeable. What do you mean with the dodgeable things? Don't make game like LOL. In League of Legends you can dodge this kind of stuff. Why do you have to copy LOL? No, you're not copying LOL. Dota is much better. <laughs> okay, Dagger damage rescaled from 50. It's uh, 60 on level 1. The same damage on level 2. Level 3 we have... 10 less and then we have 20 less damage but now we you can have a crit and the dagger damage I guess it's pure right okay it is pure so now you can get um, what is the 450 percent so now if you are level 16 and you crit with dagger 850 I mean 880 per um, 450 100 810 crits with the blink I mean with the dagger on level 16 if you get a crit oh <laughs> the damage is pure remember that phantom lancer spirit lances is now dodgeable Okay, stop making these things dodgeable, please. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, I have to answer the phone. I am sorry about this. No, I'm not I cannot answer it right now because I I don't want to stop. Um patch can can now use blink dagger. 
Opa, dandy! Opa, dandy! If you hook a unit onto an unpathable ledge, the unit gains free pathing for 5 seconds? What? What the fuck? Flash heap, magic resistance reduced from 4. Okay. I guess that's cool. Um, dismember scepter strength multiplier increased from 0 0.75 to 1. This is very nice actually. This is very very good. Um, it's my mother calling so I have to answer this. Fuck my life. I'm sorry about this but I have to answer. Alright. Okay, we are back. That was a that was a quick one, <laughs> a fast call. Um, Pugna, decrypt decrypt five damage. Amp. On allies reduced from forty per forty percent to twenty five percent. Um, this is very nice. Decrypt five damage. Um, I guess that's amplification, right? On enemies increased. Oh, 50% now. Nice. This is very nice. Uh, Nether Ward now requires 3 hits to kill instead of 75 HP, whatever. Um, heroes hurt it for 1, others for 0 0.25. I guess this is cool because now you cannot um, one hit the Nether Ward anymore, right? Um, life Drain restores mana if it tries to heal you uh, while you are full HP when targets with targeting heroes. Oh, clapping for you, <laughs> Queen of Pain. Shadow Strike mana cost rescaled from 80 to 110 at level one, even uh, for 30 more mana on level one, even. So this is very very cool. Ricky, smoke. I mean, uh, the Queen of Pain change is cool because Queen of Pain cannot harass you anymore uh, that much with the Shadow Strike because Shadow Strike was spammable before, and now it it is still spammable, but it's going to cost you more mana. And sometimes you just have to think about it, not throw it every single time. And you leave it on level 1 forever. You just keep maxing your third skill after that, you know. Uh, so, be careful now, guys. Uh, Ricky, smoke screen cast range increased from 425 to 550. Okay, this is pretty good if you play Ricky. Smoke screen cast range. Alright. Uh, Ricky is no longer revealed out of permanent invisibility when he casts spell or uses items. When he attacks his attack from blink strike, he will be revealed. Ricky is no longer revealed when he casts spells or uses items. Oh, this is very nice. Because now you can smoke. And you will still be in this. This is very nice. Uh, Rubik. Telekinesis cooldown increased from 18 to 22. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, Rubik. Can no longer steal the Aghanim upgrade of the enemy if they have Aghanims and he doesn't. Okay. But I, I was reading that um, Rubik has Aghanim Scepter now. And that's true reduces cooldown to 5 seconds instead of 16 at level at level 3 um, level 3 ultimate of course the cooldown is going to be 5 seconds um, increases cast range from 1000 to 1400 and makes all stolen spells be considered to have their aghanim upgrade this is very nice um, sand king 
Sandstorm DPS, the dips, increased from 20 um, to 25 at level 1 and then we have 20 more at level 4. Well, I guess that's fine, a little bit of buff to the Sandstorm. Um, epicenter attack speed slow is now same as movement speed slow. 10% to 30%. This is very nice, I guess. Uh, Shadow Poison AoE increased from 180 to 190. This is this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Shadow Shaman Mass and Serpent Ward count increased from 8 to 10. This is cool. Uh, changes Mass Serpent Ward placement structure structure. What the fuck do you mean with this? Okay, Silencer. Intelligent Steel is an innate part of the hero rather than an element of glaive wisdom. I don't care about Silencer. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Skeleton King. Base intelligence decreased by 5. Why? Removed Mortal Strike active. Okay, so in the last patch we have a very cool mor Mortal Strike active and now it's removed. Well, what can we do about that? Vampiric Aura now provides full effectiveness on ranged units. Reincarnation Slow increased from 30 to 50%. This is very cool. Reincarnation Slow AoE increased as well from 700 to 900. Oh, this is very cool. This is cool. Opa. <laughs> um, Scarlet Mage. Intelligence growth increased from 3.2 to 3.6. Alright then. Um, added Aghanim's upgrade reduces Myth Mystic's Flayer's cooldown from 60 to 20, 10, and 0. <sighs> Zero cooldown on the Aghanims. This is very nice. I mean, uh, zero cooldown on the OT when you have Aghanims. This is very cool, actually. <laughs> uh, Slarder. Amplified damage armor reduced uh, reduction increased from 8, 14, 20 to 10, 15, 20. Alright. Um, sprint. This is very cool actually because on level 1 you remove 10 armor now instead of 8. Um, sprint speed increased. Very cool. And sprint mana co cost removed. It was 50 before. Oh! Sprint no mana cost. This is very nice. This is very nice. Uh, Slark. Shadow dance duration reduced from 5.5 to 4. Why you have to change this? Why? Shadow Dance cooldown increased from 25 to 65 seconds. Oh my fucking... Well, I wanted in the previous patch to have a nerf on Slark. And there it is. Shadow Dance can no longer be revealed by True Sight. Oh, this is cool. 4 seconds duration, but no more. You can, you can no no longer see when when you have a gem or sentry or dust or anything like that uh, and this is very cool but uh, fucking the the cooldown is uh, 65 seconds that's one minute and five seconds this is really fucked um, sniper take aim attack range bonus increased whoa you are you are actually increasing the attack range of sniper even more than it is already. This is very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna play Sniper soon, guys. Uh, Spectre, you can now continuously use reality on your illusions. Oh, this is very cool. Uh, reality cast point improved from 0 0.3 to 0. This is instant attack animation instant cast animation which is very cool spirit breaker we have spirit breaker changes uh, base attack time nerfed from 0 0.7 to 0 0.9 oh fuck you spirit breaker <laughs> uh, greeter bash no longer works while doomed yes nether strike now 
Nether Strike. This is a Viper skill. Uses wine. Wait, Nether Strike. I believe this is a Viper skill. Now uses 1.2 cast time instead of a 1 sec magic immune delay. Okay, okay, I guess this is cool, right? Uh, Sven, Stormbolt cooldown reduced from 15 to 13. And Stormbolt is now dodgeable. What do you mean it's dodgeable? What do you mean all these dodgeable things? Jesus. Tidehunter, um, Kraken Shell damage blocked instead of 7, um, level 1, 9 on level 1, and then we have up to... 36 on level 4, which is very cool. Um, Timber Soul. Chakram, uh, Chakram mana cost increased from 75, 120. Chakram? What the fuck is Chakram? This is a. Uh, Chakram is a. Um, Keeper of the Light spell, I think. Oh wait, it's the the ultimate. Jesus, excuse me guys, I'm fucking brain AFK now. Um chakra mana cost increased 100 on level 1. This is very good actually. This is a little bit of a nerf to Timber Saul's ultimate, which is cool. I like that one. Um uh, tiny craggy exterior chain chance chance increased from 6 but why you have to increase the chances Jesus it was so good before and sometimes I feel like it's so much uh, exterior stun duration also increased okay so now tiny has a bash but no not when he attacks when you attack him <laughs> tree and protector leech seed damage per pulse reduced from 30 to 24 at level 1 and then it on level on level 4 it's the same leech seed damage per pulse okay this is the heal that also is doing damage so now the damage is decreased okay very nice uh, leech seed number of pulses increased from 6 to f from 4 to 6 oh motherfucker why do you have to make this fucking train protector m even more OP? Jesus. Um, leaving armor cooldown rebalanced from 15 to 32, 26, 20, 14. Leaving armor mana cost increased from 25 to 50. Oh! And the cooldown of leaving armor, I forgot to, to give you my impression. Fuck yeah! <laughs> on level 4 it's gonna be the same though, but now on level 1 is like double cooldown, even even more than double. Um, nature's geese or guys, cast point improved. Well, this is good I think, if you play Trillion Protector. You have nerf on other things, but you have a little bit of buff to the ulti. Well, uh, Troll Warlord. Uh, we have Berserker's Rage movement speed bonus rebalanced from Berserker's Rage movement speed. Um, I believe this is the ultimate. Ber um. No, this is not. Berserker's Rage is the first skill. When you go melee form, you have movement speed, right? Um, now you have 10 more on level 4, but on level 1 and 2, you have 10 less. Or it is the same like on level... Only on level 1, it's a little bit nerfed. 10 less movement speed, which is... I guess it's fair. Um... Access melee damage reduced from 125 um, up to 275 on level 4. Now we have 225 on level 4 and 75 on level 1. Well, why do you have to make these changes, man? <laughs> Tusk. Uh, frozen, si frozen Sigil. Winter. Danny Winter. <laughs> uh, remember when Baumi said that. 
um, now requires a um, constant number of hits 333 three, no 3344 three, three, four, instead of the hp so now this is the same like pugna's ward you cannot one shot anymore uh, heroes hurt for one and then um, others for 0 0.25 all right um, undying dk steel duration increased <sighs> Why you have to increase it on level 1, 25 seconds, and now it's 40. Wow. Uh, Vengeful Spirit can now use Blink Dagger. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. If you nether swap a unit onto unpassable ledge, the unit... This is the same like Patch's Hook. This is very good, actually, if you get hooked on somewhere uh, weird, weird places. <laughs> or if you get hooked or swapped, you can have uh, free pathing for 5 seconds. But if Patch eats your face immediately or Vengeful Spirit stuns you, well, I guess I'm sorry for you. <laughs> okay, Venomancer. Uh, Poison Nova no longer ignores Invis fogged units. Alright. Venomous Gale no longer ignores Invis units. No longer ignores. Alrighty. Venomancer Gale, Venomous Gale, um, over time rebalanced. Damage over time rebalanced. Zero at level one. What do you mean with this shit, man? But then at level four, it's 90, which is a lot. Which is actually a lot. Very nice. Poison Stink. Duration increased from 6 to to 15. Uh, this is a little bit of a buff on level 3 and 4. Not really on level 1 and 2. Uh, Poison Stink DPS no longer disables healing or disables dagger. Alrighty. Um, Plague Wards now have Poison Stink for 50% of the damage at the current skill level. When both Venomancer and Plague Wards affect a target, only the highest DPS is applied. Obviously, the Venomancer's one, because um, poisons, the Plague Wards used 50%. Uh, Plague Wards experience bounty increased. Alrighty. Uh, Viper, poison attack cooldown reduced to zero, even at level one. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Um, corrosive skin no longer works while doomed. All right. Um, visage, visage, base armor reduced by one. Okay. Uh, base magic resistance reduced from twenty-five percent to ten percent. Base magic resistance reduced. This is very nice, actually. Uh, Warlock, Fauto Bounce, now links the closest units to the initial target instead of randomly choosing targets in its AoE. Um, not sure if this is good or bad. I think it's bad, but whatever. Um, Unheavo cast range increased from 700 to 1200. <sighs> Whoa! Upheaval duration increased from 10 to 12 all right removed chaotic offering 100 impact damage um, chaos offering golem armor increased from 5 7 10 to 6 9 and 12 very nice chaos offering mana cost increased as well wow on level 1 is the same but then on level 2 it's 50 more and on level 3 it's uh, 100 more chaos um, chaotic offering is the ultimate, obviously. Uh, Weaver, base attack time nerfed from 1.7 to 1.8. Um, I feel it was very slow before and now it's even more, even slower. Wow. Uh, focus fire remains sticky on the target you cast it on. This means that you can change targets and when you return to the original target, your attack speed bonus will resume. This is actually like a fix, not... This is a fix because it was very fucked up before and now it's awesome. This is how it is supposed to work for me. Uh, Witch Doctor. Death Ward cast range increased from 400 to 600. Alright. Voodoo Restoration AOE increased from 350 to 50. 
500, not 50 <laughs> Voodoo Restoration AoE. Okay, this is the heal. Uh, Voodoo Restoration mana cost over time reduced as well. Oh, this is very nice. 50% um, of the heal amount. Right, right. This is very cool. Um, paralyzing casks. <laughs> Look at it go. Kaski, kaski. Uh, now last five seconds on illusions. Same as creeps duration. Alrighty. Um, items, items. We are finally looking to the items. Very, very nice. Movement speed in animal courier. Animal courier. Movement speed increased from 300 to 350. Oh, this is like having um, boots of speed because fif uh, 50 is the movement of boots of speed. Nice, very nice. HP increased to f 50, uh, 45 to 75. HP. <sighs> wow. Even though, even though the animal, the animal courier has no armor, it's zero. For most of the heroes that can snipe it, like Nature's Prophet, for example, it's going to be harder because I am not sure. Usually, you snipe the courier when you get level two, and you can TP behind the enemy's um, tier one tower and snipe the courier. I'm not sure if you will have 75 damage already. Maybe sometimes you will have to. It depends what time times do you have, I guess. Sometimes you will have to hit the courier twice, but now courier runs 50, 50 movement speed more, which is 50 movement speed faster, which is very, very good. Um, arcane boots, movement speed bonus reduced from 60 to 55. Oh, why you have to make this? Armlet of Mordigian. Unholy st strength. strength um, gain is provided over 0 0.7 seconds and not immediately when you turn on when you activate your armlet this is very bad I guess because you need the strength armor immediately wow we will see how this is going to work now unholy strength has no togger no no togger not toggle toggle Jesus what the fuck on or off cooldown this is very cool this is the best ever but then you have nerf on the strength because provides over 0 0.7 seconds ah fuck black king bar re um, recipe cost increased from 1300 to 1375 why you have to do this why uh, blink dagger damage disable no longer ignores self damage uh, this means stuff like rot will trigger it, but HP loss like soul ring will not. Oh, blink dagger on patch. If you rot, you will disable your blink dagger like enemy hero hits you. The same. Alrighty, so have to be very careful about this one. You cannot rot and then blink on top of someone and OT him. You have to blink first, OT and then rot. I mean, you have to blink first, rot and then OT or whatever you want to do. But I think it's cool and it's it's definitely fair. That's fair because if you could rot before blink, that would be just blinking with the rot already. You don't give time to escape. <laughs> you don't give anyway because you, you guys are, we are going to be very quick um, put switching that rot on. Well, I guess that's fine. Uh, Bloodstone now now gives the plus ten damage from its components. All right, ten damage. Uh, that's almost nothing, but still something better than nothing. <laughs> Boots of travel now prioritize near structures first within three five um, three hundred and twenty five AOE from tar targeting position when ground targeted. Um, Alright, this is cool. Bottle. Gold cost increased from 600 to 650. <sighs> Why you have to make this? Wow. 50 more gold. That's one last hit more. And a few seconds from the game. 
but we also get a little bit more gold from the from from the game because I read that before on the general's uh, changes. Well, not really fair, Valve. Not fair. But what can we do? Just accept <laughs> the fact. Clarity potion is no longer shareable, but can still be used on a target that on a target ally. Dust of appearance slow increased from 10 to 15 percent. All right. Um, Eel scepter of divine divinity. Um, cyclone cooldown reduced from 30 to 25. This is very good. And movement speed bonus increased from 35 to 40. Wow, what the fuck? What do you mean with this? A of Scuddy. A of Scuddy movement speed, attack speed slow increased from 30 to 20. I mean from 30, 20 to 35. Always. Uh, movement speed and attack speed slow. Both 35. This is very cool. Um, flying courier cannot be purchased until three minutes after creep spawn. Oh, this is this is actually some very good changes. We have increased the movement speed of the 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 animal courier and also the HPs, but. Now flying courier cannot be purchased until three minutes into the game after the creep spawn, of course. Very cool, very cool. Um, gem, very interesting, actually. Not very cool. I don't know if it's very cool. We have to play with these uh, changes and see if they are cool or not. But they are very interesting for now. At least they seem like that. Um, gem of true sight. Um, gold cost increased from 850 to 900. Why you have to be like this? Okay, tran Transmute no longer works against Necrominicon units. Um, fair enough, in my opinion. Healing South gold cost increased from 100 to 115. Wow. It's no longer shareable, but can still be used on a target ally. No longer shareable is like dropping it on the floor and then someone takes it and uses it for himself. But when you use it on, hi on, on him, like from your inventory on him, when you click and then click on your ally hero, then it should be used. I guess this, what, this is what it means. Uh, Helm of the Dominator. Uh, Dominate can no longer control Necrominicon units. Necrominicon units, very nice. Uh, you can you can no longer hand of Midas Necrominicons, and now you can no longer Helm of Dominator um, dominate them. This is very cool for all the Necronomicon heroes that can use that item. Um, Hyperstone gold cost reduced from two thousand from twenty one thousand to two thousand. Uh, 2100, excuse me, to 2000, and this is very cool. Lincoln Sphere um, can now be cast on Alet Hero to transfer the buff. Oh, what the fuck! What the fuck! When on cooldown, it does not work on you. Um, goes into cooldown when cast and once the buff is used up. If the cooldown ends and the buff has not been used up the buff ends and do and does not trigger another cooldown 700 cast range this is very very interesting uh, Milstrom chain lightning AOE uh, increased from 500 to 900 whoa that's very cool Mjolnir static charge radius around attacker increased from 300 to 450. This is very nice. Uh, static charge hit count increased from 3 to 5. This is also very cool. Chain uh, lightning AOE increased from 500 to 900. Chain lightning AOE. Well, this is the same like Mjolnir. Oh, well, I guess because for make to make the, the I mean this is the same like Milstrom because 
to make the Mjolnir, you mean, you mean, um, Jesus, you need the Mjolnir first. So this is very fair and very cool. Um, Necro Minicon summoned units duration increased from 35 to 40. Summoned units duration. Very nice, very nice. Definitely a buff. All these things, not Midas on Necro Minicons. No Dominate with Helm of the Dominator. Definitely buffing the Necro Minicons. And now they are gonna be very, very nice on heroes that it's probably nice, but you were not sure. Well, now you're sure they are. <laughs> Observer Ward duration increased from 6 to 7 minutes. <sighs> Killing Observer Wards now grants 550 gold bounty. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you kill Observer Ward and you get gold for it. Very nice. When you you when you're playing a support uh, and you deward your blocked camp, this is going to be very cool. Uh, face boots movement speed bonus reduced from 55 to 50. Oh, why you have to reduce? What the fuck is wrong? Um, Pipe. Barrier AOE increased from 500 to 900. Very cool. Power threats. Movement speed bonus reduced from 55 to 50. Why are you nerfing the boots? What is wrong with you? Arcane boots, face boots and power threats. Everything is um, down to 50 now, which is the same like um, move, um, brown boots. M boots of speed, right? Radiance, burn damage AoE increased with 50 more. Very cool, very cool. Um, Refresher Orb now gives plus 10 attack speed from its components. Uh, very nice, I guess, very nice. <laughs> A little bit of changes because, you know, you have to change something on um, Refresher Orb. And this is very cool one. I definitely agree with this one. I agree. Uh, Rot of Athos, or Rot of Athos, whatever you say. Um, cripple cooldown reduced from 16 to 12. Nice. Uh, Sage and Yasha movement speed bonus increased from six uh, from 12 to 16 percent. Very cool. Century Ward duration increased from three to four minutes. Oh, very nice. No longer gives permanent vision around it. Oh, no longer vision around the sentry wards. There is a little bit of vision, like 100 AOE, I guess. Gives ground vision on a 150 area around it for 12 seconds when placed. What the fuck is this? It's like nothing. 12 seconds when placed. Well, whatever. Uh, Shadow Amulet. Uh, fade delay reduced from 2.4 to 1.8. Very nice. Ah, sorry for this. Uh, very nice. Uh, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade. Shadow Wall cooldown increased from 18 to 28. Why you have to nerf Shadow Blade? It was so cool before, man. Um, smoke of Deceit. Smoke units are now always hidden until the buff is removed. Rather than being hidden only from minimap and partially from world. Always hidden or hidden, whatever you say. Buff is removed. Rather rather than being hidden only from minimap okay this is very good actually if you think about it tango charges increased from three to four. Oh, <laughs> very nice gold cost increased from 90 to 125 why you have to be like this both both healing self and tango have the same um, gold now gold cost 125 and this is a lot if you are playing a support that has to buy wards and courier and all that stuff it's no longer shareable uh, tango can be targeted on allied hero to create a one charge non-stacking tango item in their inventory 
If the inventory is full, the item will be placed on the ground. This item has 60 seconds cooldown. This is very interesting. This is very ghost. Uh, reworked. Reworked tranquil boots. Um, active boots. 75 movement speed. Now it's 85. Wow. 3 armor. Now it's fo uh, 4 armor. <gasps> oh! 3 HP regeneration before. Now it's gonna be 10. 10 HP. <laughs> Um, and then ability heal restore tw uh, 250 HP over 20 seconds. Um, you don't have this anymore. I don't see that here. Oh fuck! They removed this one. All right then. Then this 10 10 HP regeneration is pretty. Wow! Now I'm. Th I I think it's a nerf to to the tranquil boots actually because you cannot heal 250 HP's anymore but you have 10 um, instead of 3 you have 10 HP per second region well whatever um, broken boots 25 movement speed now it's 60 movement speed wow this is this is insane this is like face boots almost when you have the the broken triangle boots this is this is actually amazing and you have four armor instead of instead of no armor very cool uh restores when you haven't attacked or been attacked in the last 13 seconds cannot be disassembled cannot be disassembled so if you make this one you make it forever you have to sell it um can be disassembled. Yeah, this is before. Now you cannot anymore. Um, so ring. Uh, so ring. What the fuck? Urn of Shadows. So uh, so release cooldown reduced from 10 to 7. This is very cool. Vanguard damage block chance increased from 70 to 80 percent. Wow, this is this is even better now. Now Vanguard is a little bit better. And it could be option for some heroes like Axe, Spectre, Bristolback. It is an option already for those heroes that I just named, but now it's even better for them. Alrighty then. Uh, Veil, of, Veil of Discord. No uses. Um, now uses no, no talisman instead of ro rope of the Magi. Wow, I have to I have to remember this for so long, but because this is an important ch change. Uh, magic weakness duration increased from 20 to 25 seconds. Nice. Uh, Brute Mother and Slark temporary dis disabled from Crystal. Um, I was gonna say Crystal Maiden. Fuck my life. Um, Captain's mode. Uh, they will be added back shortly. Well, well. This is because probably they have to see how people react to the changes and if they are OP or not because Brute Mother can walk through Brute Mother can hide into the trees and stuff now. And Slark also cannot be um seen anymore with um True Sight. Whatever guys, uh this is my patch update, uh reading the notes walk through the update notes i hope you enjoy if you did leave a like and subscribe to my channel to get uh, more videos dota 2 and other games uh, you can also like on facebook if you want to get updates about every video i upload almost every day i try my best uh, to upload every day and this is gonna be it guys leave a like if you enjoy i know i don't know if i said that probably i did but Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, yeah. Why not liking if you enjoy something? Yeah, I do, always. Um, thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video, obviously. Good luck and have fun playing Dota with the new changes. Hoppa. <laughs>